We're headed to a job site to install 13 cameras today. Everything is already in place. The cabling, we just need to take down the old cameras and put up new ones and a new rack. But before we go, let's say bye to Mocha. All right, now we're at the job site and this is what we're gonna have to replace today. We have this screen which is showing all our cameras that are currently running, which are the Hike Vision cameras. We're gonna be taking the screen out as we won't be using it. Up top, we have a 2U rack, which we're gonna be taking out as well. And then we're using a Linksys switch and this patch panel. I'm most likely gonna re-terminate all these cables. As you can tell on the bottom, they aren't really done properly. These ones are coming in from the bottom. They should be placed in the middle. So we'll probably just put that on a keystone patch panel and then we'll use six inch patch cables to go into the switch. Up top, we have our Hike Vision NVR, which we'll be taking this down as well and we'll be putting in an 8U rack. Hopefully this rack fits in the door clearance because there's not too much room between the door swinging open and this backboard and I really don't wanna to have to move the backboard. So the first steps for us is to get all this gear taken down. I'm gonna rip it all down. It will be a time lapse and then we'll put the rack up. Hopefully have the clearance for that door and then we'll install our Ubiquiti gear. Then we'll go outside and install the cameras. Okay, so we can see the back of the patch panel here. I'm just gonna cut these cables off the patch panel. They're not terminated properly. This shielding should go right up to the punch downs. We're gonna use some keystone jacks by vertical cable and the eye punch tool. And as you can tell, the network rack is now on. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put the UDM SE on our first RU, and then after that, we're gonna put a patch panel and terminate all these cables into it. So I'm gonna get this put up, and then we'll add the patch panel and dress these cables in. Okay, so you can see that I have the patch panel in and then we have our cables already pushed through the holes. We're gonna start terminating. And what I use, I've shown this off a few times, this is the vertical cable eye punch tool. It makes it very easy to be able to do your terminations. It's for a crimping. And then I use these VMAX jacks, which we'll be using the red jacks for this installation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and terminate all these cables.
Okay, so we have our UDM SE in, we have our patch panel. This port 23 will be for our WAN connection going up to port nine, and then 24 we'll be using for a DAC connection back to our UNDR. I do know the patch panel is missing a couple screws. We will put those in after, but now we're gonna just patch these in to the switch, and then I need to get the cameras mounted. I may not be able to show that as I'm running out of time, but we'll see. Okay, and now the job is finished, and yes, I do know I'm missing a screw there. I will put that in after this video, but we got everything completed. Unfortunately, I couldn't record myself putting cameras up as we are running out of time, but at the top, we have our UDM SE, and below that, we have a 24-port keystone patch panel, which are all labeled camera 1 to 12. If we keep going down, we have our WAN uplink, which is in red. Then we have that white 10 gigabit DAC cable connecting between our UDM SE and the 24 port switch. And you can see we have a black DAC cable down here and that is going back down to our UNBR. At the bottom of the rack, we have our four bay UNBR and each one of these bays has an eight terabyte Western digital purple drive in it. And that's going to be it for this on-site video of us taking out hike vision cameras and placing Unify Protect. I still do have other on-site jobs coming up. For this particular client, we have two other locations. One has about 30 or 40 cameras and the other one will be a co-working space where we'll be putting in a firewall, a switch, and some access points and setting them up with the Radius server. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.